for you, kiss your best memory on stage. I don't know, I had a lot of them. I had a lot of good memories. I can't say the best, it's kind of yeah. hard to say. Like sometimes they always say, who's the best drummer there? Which one you think is the best? It's mm. hard because everybody yeah. have a different uh it, a what are you musically yeah, influenced? Something else to say. Everybody yeah. got different things to say in the music. Mm -hmm. I like this drummer for this. Yeah. I like this band for this. I like that. You know. Okay. So it's, it's, I, I never like to say that. You know. Like one time they asked me about my greatest singer. So I know mm -hmm. Ella's Ella. I don't put her with everybody else. But uh, Sarah Vaughan was my biggest. Mm -hmm. I say. I, I knew about her when I was young. Before I mean I, I heard about her. I heard my friend in the neighborhood, Mary Jane, mm -hmm. Mary Jane Mack, she came to me, my, my junior Mack, his sister, older sister, she liked jazz. Yeah. She knew I liked jazz. Mm -hmm. I was like 15 or 16. She said, come to the house, I want to play. And she put this out, this record on. I said, wow, who is this? I said, whoa, man. You know? And then uh, about six months, maybe, um, not quite a year, she told me about you and my sumac, an Indian chick, sang yeah. real high. And she kind of introduced me to Sarah, who was from Newark, New mm -hmm. Jersey, like Rhoda's from Newark. Uh, um, uh, Dion Ward's from Newark. Mm -hmm. And because uh, I knew Rhoda when she was young, teenager. Yeah. She don't remember me, but I remember her. But she knows she knows me from back then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they had a nice trio, organ trio, she was playing. And uh, for, for to know the recording, uh, the first recording. My first, uh, yeah. my first recording uh, was a demo. I was 15 years old. 15. And uh, my friend they had a guy in there called Spoons, that you call him in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. He played the spoons and the wooden blocks, and uh, he sang the blues. Mm -hmm. And the guy there, a friend in the neighborhood, older guy, played yeah. guitar. Yeah. And I had a snare drum. They gave me a snare drum and a stand. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was standing up with a pair of brushes. Okay. In fact, I still got the record. I got the demo. Mm -hmm. And his name was Piney Gillespie. Oh. He lived in, 13, in Webster Street, 13th Street, 1300 block. And one, he lived on the middle of the block. And at the end of the street, which goes Broad Street, which is 14th, the big street, that was this Gillespie family, the real Dis Gillespie trumpet player. His sister, all the one his sister in school with my mother. Mm -hmm. We lived like about two blocks from each other. Mm -hmm. But this Gillespie is not related to the other Gillespie. <laughs> And he wound up being a manager for the for the, the Turbans. Mm -hmm. It's a singing group that came out of Philly. And uh, it was funny because I was in the singing group. Mm -hmm. And I went to the military, and the next year, he came out and changed the name to the Turbans. And they were the big hit. Sister Suki, show me around your heart, and everything else. And I was in the, I was in the Marine Corps, and I was saying, sure, I could have stayed home. I might have been in the group, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Do up, you know. So. Monsieur, uh, I would like the, to, to know uh, the, the history. As I, I live in uh, my address, my, my, my space, and, uh, okay? Because it's very important for me for, for, okay. the, for, for to know. But my Hello. first jazz recording. Yeah, recording. Nobody knew it in New York. I played with everybody. Mm -hmm. Grand Green, all the cats, you know. Oh, Green? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, um, uh, right. I saw him hey, two Ronnie months Cuba, ago. Grand Green, uh, 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 we had a lot of guys, like I was saying, me and Red Holloway and all. Uh, anyway, I was with Lloyd Price's band, and we used to rehearse at Small's Paradise in the basement. Yeah. And uh, I came home one time, Clifford Jordan came to me. He mm -hmm. said, man, uh, I got a record date, and Brady Tate's on one side, but I need somebody on the other side. I don't know if he had an argument with Grady or something. I don't know. But he wanted me. Mm -hmm. But Grady was there at the studio. Mm -hmm. So he called me, I said, man, he said, what label are you with? I said, I'm not with no label. He said, no, man, you got to be with a jazz label. You're playing with all the guys. I mean, mm -hmm. you're playing with everybody. So I said, yeah, I said, but I'm playing the rock and blues, and I'm playing the blues, too. Mm -hmm. He said, yeah, man, but I know you were with a label. I said, they never gave me a label. He said, you ain't never played a jazz recording? I said, no, they never called me for a jazz recording. They called everybody, said, well, I'm going to give you a first recording. Mm -hmm. That was Clifford Joy. So I played the... They did the second half of the album. Mm -hmm. So I was so happy, I ran that day. I ran down to Small Paradise, we had a rehearsal with Lloyd Price Big Band, mm -hmm. and I saw Red Holloway. I said, I did my first record date, and all the guys turned around and said, Oh, Bobby, come on here. I said, No, I never did a jazz date. And all the other bands I play with, they don't put your name on the back of the album, mm -hmm. you know? So I said, No, man. If I say, Oh, man, you bullshit. And I said, mm -hmm. No, man. He said, But you've been everywhere, man. You, Lonnie Smith and all the captain. And I said, I know. 
I play a lot of old guys, but I never give me for a record date. I never had a jazz date. And so Red Holloway said, okay, I'm gonna give you a second date. The full date, both sides of the album. <laughs> Red Holloway, the second wow. one. And that was 1964, I think. 64. 63 or end of 63 or 64, the first time I did a jazz date. And I've been playing with, off and on with bands since I was 16 years old. And when I come out to service, mm -hmm. I was playing with bands. But I mean, I was just playing locally because I hadn't played for a long time. I was in the military, almost mm -hmm. four years, you know. Yeah. So I was just playing around town with local cats. And uh, I don't know, I was just a natural. Mm, natural. And because I remember when the jazz tech came to town mm -hmm. and they had Lex Humphreys in the band. And uh, McCoy Tyner mm -hmm. with Benny Golson and uh, I Farmer. You know, and Addison Farmer and bro. And I, I thought I was playing pretty good, you know. <laughs> and I went to Peps and the band was smoking and Lex Humphrey played so much drums. I turned around and looked at my buddy, he said, Where you going? I said, I'm going home to practice. <laughs> yeah, practice. I, I thought I I thought I was cool. Now I got a whole lot of work to do, you know. Yeah. You know, got Tootie and all, and we all, like, and in fact, Mickey Rooker was born, we were like a half a block, not even a half a block away. He was born in, on the corner from the Barton Junior High School, and I was born in the back of the school. Mm -hmm. Over top of the garage. And two Italian ladies, they, they babysitted for me until I was six years old. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people don't know, my real name is not Bobby, it's Booby. They, it was two twin ladies at a candy store, and they, they babysitted for me until I was six years old. My mother and them had to work. So, okay. so my name is Boo. <laughs> right, good, 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 good. But I used to fight because I thought the girl's name. Now I like it. It, it, it do you remember the, uh, the street in New York where John Coltrane, uh, 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 Bernard, uh, Bernard Purdy on the drums? Oh, and the, 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 Purdy. Yeah, Bernard. <laughs> I like That's how I got the job. Pretty Purdy yeah, was in the band, and then we had to rehearse a tryout. And I came in, and I didn't know that Purdy was the drummer. I thought he was yeah. trying out for the band. And uh, he said, oh, man, man, congratulations, Purdy. And I turned around, so I told uh, uh, Rudy Stevenson, who's mm -hmm. in the band. He said, that's the first time he tried it. I didn't know. So he said, uh, I said, man, Rudy, I said, and Rudy said, no, Bernard was the drummer. I said, no, but I thought he was just trying. He said, no, he was the drummer. <laughs> and Lloyd said, where's the drummer from Philadelphia? And I was sitting with him for about yeah. half an hour. He said, he's sitting with you. He said, you the drummer? I've been waiting on you. Waiting on me for what? He said, go up to let me hear you play. And that's how I got the job with Lloyd Price. And the first time I met Bernard Purdy. Yeah. You know, we got to be friends, too. He's real nice. And, and, and it's a good friend, too, because yeah. Bernard, I've yeah. seen uh, one week with, yeah, <laughs> with him. I was a contact. Uh, Freddie Purdy, uh, that's what I mean. Alors, yesterday, you were here, and the uh, Petit Not Journal. Yeah. How did you meet Rhoda? Oh, I love Rhoda. I knew Rhoda from New York. New York? she came over here. Yeah, I knew yeah. she came over. I used to come to see her. So. Mm -hmm. I come to see her all the time. In fact, she came to see me at the at the at uh, Chess Papa mm -hmm. down from uh, uh, Saint Germain. Yeah, and I used to work there with. Um, you know the uh, husband of uh, of Rhoda, Raoul. Oh, well, she and got then, a lot of little bands, yeah. the ladies' bands. She got you know sometimes mm -hmm. Houston Pearson play with her. Mm -hmm. But uh, I worked at Bill for Cake uh, a while Happy back Peter. with. Uh, um, uh, 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 with uh, Vincent Bourguet, hmm? I got Wayne Dockery on the gig, mm -hmm. and uh, 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 what you call it, with the band leader, the tenor and, uh, and, uh, and vocal. Uh, oh, shit. That's what happened to get old. Anyway, I worked at, but not, I worked at the Shea Popper. Mm -hmm. They say it's a restaurant, right down mm -hmm. the, it's the same side. You played there not long time uh, to, together on, uh, on stage, because I, I took you with the Rhoda. I just finished in tour. Yeah, exactly. Before then we with the... Uh, Is it summer? We just finished two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Yeah, and uh, before then we was in uh, another uh, uh, town and it was with uh, Houston Pearson. Mm -hmm. But Rhoda and I came back, came to Paris, together, and uh, the next day, the day after, we went to tour, and we just did the duo, just me, Rhoda and I, at the festival. Oh, Mark Thomas. Mark, Mark Thomas. Thomas. Yeah, he had the job at the Bill Bouquet. Mm -hmm. And uh, don't kill me, Mark. <laughs> uh, I'm old. I belong to the ICRS club. That means I can't remember shit. <laughs> Bill Bouquet? Wow, well, that's a good memory, yeah. too. He's the first guy to book. But I never really played it. I sat in jam years ago mm -hmm. when we had this uh, 
uh, Black and Blue, and I did the mm. first show, Black and Blue show. Five months ago, we were here. Three months at Chatelet, and then we moved to another theater. The Ruth Brown, Linda Hopkins, uh, uh, Sandy Reeves, mm. uh, Preacher Robinson, and then the Hoofers, uh, uh, with uh, Buster Brown, uh, Jimmy Slide, you know. And then yeah. they had the, the, the course line. It was great. Mm -hmm. And then they had a girl. And Savion was only like 11 years old, Savion Glover. So. Et, alors, you, you live in Swede, Swede, Swedish, Switzerland. Switzerland. Yeah, I live in Basel. Yeah, for, for about a little over four years, and I've been in, I've been in Genoa, in Italy, mm -hmm. for almost seven years now. Ah, okay. So I'm back and forth. Et, I'm never uh, there. I, I, I got an apartment there. I mean, I sleep. Mm -hmm. I'm always somewhere when I'm free with my friends. Or, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I mean, I'm on tour. And you pro uh, you way dark me down. Yeah. And your future projects? Yeah. Say uh, on stage, uh, you have a band? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah I got a lot of recordings and everything. DVDs okay. and everything. Wait DVDs. This is, is where the DVD now for No, but I told DVD. you I sent it. Okay. I sent it. I gave you my email. Okay. My number. And I just didn't bring nothing. Because usually when I work with the, the ladies of the blues, okay. the people want to buy the ladies of the blues, you know. So, so I got brand, I, I might sell to a few. Hmm. But other than that, I don't have any problem. They, sell, they buy all my stuff. Alors, the last question, because we, we're talking for, for the jazz musician, it's possible you, you talk a little, a little bit. Yeah. The, the songs, blues main, yeah. because my son is, is like yeah, a well, new... Well, you know, with B.B. King and all. On B.B. King? Yeah, I did the, the last tour, the Full of, of Mars tour, and the big band with Sweets and Kenny Burrell, Gene Harris, with the band, and Ray Brown, Gene Harris, who was his band. Mm. And um, we had everybody in there, Phil Woods, a lot of cats in the band. And uh, I uh, was a drummer did the last tour. And they had Diane Reeves and B.B. King. Oh. You know, so I was playing for them. And as soon as she finished, then B.B. King came mm -hmm. out. You know, but I know. When? So, so, I can't remember the year. Yeah. It was the last tour. So the last tour? It's got to be. You know, see, Sweet Sedison was in the band. It got to be 10, 12 years ago. 10 years ago, maybe, maybe eight. Ten, eight. eight. The Swiss haven't been gone that long. Mm -hmm. I say five, six years, six, 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 seven years. Six, seven years. Okay. Yeah, the big man. Sweet talked me into doing it. I said, Sweet. I haven't read that much music in a long time. Man. Mm -hmm. Big mom, you can read. I said, no, Sweet, shut up. Mm -hmm. They call me, uh, me in New York, sometimes I say, Sweet. And I had all this music out of it. You know, because I've been away from the big bands and all that, man. You know, I said, I've been doing a whole lot of reading. You know? Alors, thank you, Bobby. The last question is Do you have a message for the French people? Yeah. And what the, and what keep, you... keep me coming. That's all. Don't forget about Bobby Durham. I'm still alive. I'm still trying to play happy and have a good time. So uh, I always love coming to Paris. I'm in Paris all the time, even when I'm not working. This is my hangout. This is my hangout. It's my pleasure, too. <laughs> my pleasure. They won't have this